Hello, my name is Johan and I'm talking about the institutions of the EU. So what is the EU? Is the EU a federal union like the United States of America? Or are we talking about 28 different sovereign states? Neither of the two is true, but there are some confederational elements like one flag, joint politics, joint laws, one anthem, one market, one currency, one border and a citizenship. But the most confederational element is one government with an executive, legislative and judicial branch. So let's talk about it. The European Commission, located in this building in Brussels, is the EU's executive branch. Its leader is Jean-Claude Juncker from Luxembourg and each member state has one representative in the European Commission. Next up, legislative. The EU has a bicameral legislative moving between Brussels and Strasbourg in France. The European Parliament on the left represents the citizen and is directly elected every four years. The Council of the European Union represents the government of the member states. The Council is led by three member states at once, rotating every year. The last branch is the judicial. In the European Union, the judicial branch is represented by the European Court of Justice on the left located in Luxembourg City. Its current leader is Karen Leonard from Belgium. The European Court of Justice interprets the European laws and judges states and companies. So how does this government work? The European government has many different exercises, for example foreign affairs and controlling the EU single market. But one very important role is the making of laws. The process starts in the European Commission, which gets its ideas from companies, member states, members of parliament or even citizens. The Commission turns this idea into a proposal. This proposal is given to both chambers of parliament to discuss it. Then they vote on one second draft. This second draft is then debated and discussed in specific committees which make a changed second draft. It is also debated in parliament. Both sides create a changed second draft. This changed second draft is then ready for the final voting in both chambers of parliament. If the draft is accepted, members get time to adopt it into national law. In this step, members also may make some changes. The commission then executes the law EU-wide. If the second draft is rejected, there is the possibility to make another third draft and another vote. The last thing I want to talk about is the EU citizenship. Every citizen of an EU member country is also an EU citizen. Those citizens have certain benefits like moving anywhere inside the EU or the need of just a passport for vacation less than three months anywhere in the EU. And the EU also makes moving inside its borders very easy. For the EU being a resident means staying in a country longer than three months. EU citizens may resident in any other member country under the following condition. The citizen can prove their ability to support himself or if they attend a school or university in their new home country. Pensioners may live anywhere in any EU country. After that process, the new citizen has the right of any other citizen. They can, for example, vote or candidate in any local election. After those three months, their family can also join them in their new home country. Thank you for watching this episode.